Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. And today we're going to look at the new start screen in Illustrator CC, the most recent versions, and how we can control the files that are shown here. Illustrator works a little bit differently to Photoshop in this regard. So one of the tools that's available in Photoshop is not also available in Illustrator. However, if you don't want this screen to show at all, you're going to choose Edit and then Preferences and go to General. Disable the Show the Start workspace when no documents are open and enable the Use Legacy New File interface. And that will get you back to how Illustrator used to look in earlier versions of Illustrator. However, if you don't want that to be the case, if you just want to get rid of these files so people can't see the work that you've been working on, because, for example, some of these files aren't even mine and in the circumstance where you're teaching online or teaching in a classroom, for example, you may not want to show other people's work. So here's how you get rid of these. You're going to choose Edit and then Preferences and you're going to File Handling and Clipboard. Here you get to choose the number of recent files to display and you're going to set that to zero. That will remove all the recent files from this dialog and it will set it to zero in future. So if I close and restart Illustrator, then there are going to be no files here in this workspace and there never will be because it's been set to zero. Now that's also a way that you could clear the files. So if you actually wanted files here, but you wanted to clear the current set, you would do just what we've done now and then go back to Edit Preferences and File Handling and Clipboard and just reset this to the number of recent files to display. So you have a couple of choices for customizing Illustrator here. One is the old interface, two is the new interface, but without the files because for whatever reason, you don't want to see them. I hope you've enjoyed and learned from this tutorial. Please, if you did so, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I'm Helen Bradley and thank you for visiting my YouTube channel.